Tonight's show? Yes. Is this anybody's first visit to the old church? Yes. Has anybody not been here before? You're very welcome, as is you all, of course. If the, anybody needs the bathroom, they're out through the green doors and into the left. And that's where you'll find those, there's two. And we have no fire drills planned for tonight, so if the alarm goes off, it's real. Don't panic, stop screaming, let go of your neighbours. I'll go back out for you, and then I'll meet out in the car park. We've all got a lot of work into putting the show on for tonight, so if you could do me a favour and double check phones are off, or on silent, please. <laughs> <laughs> the guys are all very nervous and excited at the same time backstage, so please sit down and enjoy the show. Thank you. Chicken goujons. And an Irish chip from the 
she can chill it. <laughs> Me? If it wasn't for your savage father dying, and even us. Any of this. Yeah, left the shoe to look after another mouth to feed. Well, you can have the potato payments for your dinner tonight. Be grateful, Skelly. Skelly!
he's throwing a ball for all the in the land in order to find himself a bride. Dolly, you could be my bridesmaid. Not like it. I'm far better looking. He'd be marrying me, and I can knit. <laughs> That's just what every prince would need. A wife that knows her way around the ball of wool. She should marry a sheep farmer. Girls, girls, we must ready ourselves to meet his handsome. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. I feel pretty and witty and gay. And I pity any girl who puts in me today.
Did she say the pumpkin had gone? I need the pumpkin to make the golden coach. What am I going to do? Did you touch the pumpkin? Where did it go? I wonder where we can get a pumpkin. Where's the best place to get a pumpkin? A pumpkin. A pumpkin? Pat. Pat? Good girl. Boy. Oh. <laughs> we could go over to Glen Lola and get one. Do you know this? I have a poem about pumpkins. Listen to this. A pumpkin, a pumpkin. You did it! Wonderful, dear. Wonderful. Oh, but there's one condition. You must be back home before the last stroke of midnight. <coughs> Otherwise, your dress will turn to rags again. Dave, but how will I get there? It's five miles down the road. Your carriage awaits. I say, your carriage awaits. <laughs> Yeah, but I want a beautiful princess. Somebody will 
rub my baths, buy me presents, sing me to sleep. Your mother doesn't laugh. Yeah, I need love. Someone to love. Maybe I'll get a puppy. A cute little puppy with floppy ears and big brown eyes looking up at me adoringly. <coughs> Here, what's that? Who bags? If you're getting a puppy, you have to be prepared to pick up the food. <laughs> <laughs> On second thoughts, I'll settle for a ride. Look at the time! We'll be late for our party! Sorry? The ball, it's about to begin. Fair lady, 
I think this is yours. <laughs> You're so kind, sir. Yes, I am kind. <laughs> oh, I think I have to give that to you in price. I can't say I have one for me. <laughs> <laughs>
last night at the ball. She looked remarkably familiar. Dancing with the kids all night. Nobody else got a look in. Well, whoever she was, she's gone. Ran away like a scolded cat. And good riddance. Now, obviously, the prince will choose to marry one of my beautiful daughters. Oh, the riches that we'll have. I'm getting a pair of cheap shoes. What are you doing? What have you got there? You mangy beast, that's my mother of the fly hat. I'm going to get you.
Smells worse than Sean Scullion. <laughs>
special day, the Prince has a wedding gift for everybody. Golden coin to celebrate our golden features. <laughs>